We've all been there before. That frustration of not knowing what to do on your computer or in a on a social media site or with new technology, and you just wish that you had somebody that could see your screen and walk you through it. Well, now you have that ability within Zoom. You have three options that you can share your screen, and that is what you're going to learn how to do today. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, if we haven't met yet, my name is Audrey with Social Media 4, that's the number for beginners.com, where I am on a mission to teach the older generation how to use the different social media sites and all this new technology so that they can stay connected to their family and friends. Now, if you are of the younger generation and if you have ever helped your parents or your grandparents that live far how to do something online, maybe over the phone, and you just wish that they could share their screen, be sure to share this video with them. Um, and if it helps in any way, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button along with the bell button so that you're notified every single time that I upload one of these videos. Without further ado, we're jumping right inside of a Zoom meeting. All right, so here we are within a Zoom meeting. And now I could turn on my video so that you can kind of see me here, but I also have another uh, camera that I'll be speaking into and I don't want to confuse you on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop my video on Zoom, okay? So we're just gonna stop the video, but we're still inside of the Zoom meeting. So in order to share your screen, what you're gonna do is click on this share screen, this green button right here. Now, when you do that, chances are as a participant, you have this little window that pops up and it says that you do not have the ability to share your screen or that the host needs to enable it. So if you are the host and meaning that you started this meeting, what you'll want to do is click on this security, this uh, shield right here. And right where it says share screen, you wanna make sure that that is checked. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that. And now as a participant, when you click on that share screen, this is what is going to pop up. So don't get freaked out by all of the, uh, depending on how, actually depending on how many programs or different windows that you have opened, you know, sometimes I might have maybe 10 programs open and they would all be here, okay? The first thing we're gonna talk about is your desktop. So I want you to notice that there is a blue background. Anytime I click on any one of these, you'll notice that blue background. That is letting you know that that is going to be what you're going to share. So we're gonna click on desktop one and I'm gonna click on this share button. So now what does that mean? That means that everybody that is on this call has the ability to see everything that is in with within this green area right here there's this line that's around this area and so it's letting me know that everybody can see all of my desktop so if you are sharing your desktop with anybody whether it's family or friends just make sure that you don't have any private information like you, you're not looking at your bank account or you don't have any verifiable uh, information on your desktop that somebody could um you know, do something with it, okay? So just be very mindful of when you're sharing your screen, what everybody can see. All right, so desktop is everything. They see everything on your desktop that is open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop sharing. I'm gonna click on stop share up here to the top right. And then we're gonna talk about the next one. So I'm gonna click on share screen again. And now what I can do is I can just share specific programs that I have open, okay? Or uh, specific windows that I want that other person to be able to see. So let's say that you are having some problems with Skype. So this would be great for my dad um, if he was having some problems with Skype and he's got a lot of other windows open, but he just 
just wants me to look at his Skype account, then what he would do is he would click on Skype and then say share. Now what happens, you'll notice that in, uh, you know, what's in between these lines, this green line, this green outline right here, that's all Skype. So whether I move that over here, it doesn't matter wherever I move this on my screen. This is the only program, the only thing that everybody is going to be able to see. Okay. So we're going to stop sharing again. And now we're going to go over the third option for that. You're going to click on share screen and then click on advanced and then it's going to be portion of screen. Remember blue highlight lets you know that's exactly what you're choosing. You're gonna click on share. And now what you'll notice is here is that green outline right here. So everything within this green outline is what is being shared on the screen that all the participants can see. Now, if you want to move this over and let's say that I only wanted to share a portion of my screen, what you'll do is you'll click on your mouse, the left, you know, click on the left side of your mouse and hold it down. Now it becomes orange and you'll notice up in the right, it says your screen sharing is paused. So it pauses the screen sharing and now you'll move this over and let's say I only wanted to show you uh, this portion of my website, I then let it go. Now it says you are screen sharing. What if I wanted to make this bigger? I could just click on this area, like at the corner, click on it, and then I'm going to start moving it. It's sharing is paused again, but now I can make this much bigger, and I could say I want to share everything within there. I let that go. It turns green and everything. That means even if I move this inside of this green area, the people are going to see it. And that is how you share a portion of your screen with the other participants on there. So let's say stop sharing. And there you have it. Those are the three options that you have in order to share your screen. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if this video helped you in any way, thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you can think of anyone that may need this, or maybe you're about to help your parents and you need them to know how to share their screen, share this video with them. Until next video, as always, y'all be blessed. Bye.